What's up guys? Well, we're back at it, uh, doing a little shed hunting this weekend. Um, it's a little earlier than I'd like. I normally don't go out and shed hunt until uh, the end of March, right at the first of April, right before everything really greens up. Um, but it looks like we got some warmer temperatures coming. Um, so things will probably actually green up a little sooner than I'd like. But uh, I normally I normally don't go until the end of the end of March here in Collin County, uh, just because bucks hold their antlers a little longer. Um, I still see bucks with their antlers, um, you know, a couple weeks into April. So um, anyway, we're getting out here right now. Um, so I've just been kind of out um, looking around here, and uh, I happen to see. If I can find it now point it to you guys kind of in this little grass patch right here this is uh just i don't know it's uh some floodplain area in here um see a lot of old rubs uh actually have not been back in here uh, a lot of deer bed up in this area because it gets really kind of open hardwoods here but you can see it gets really thick back in there um so this is a bedding area that i, I do not go into during hunting season so this is the first time back in here since last year. Um, but um, I happened to be walking through and I saw this shed here laying on the ground. Of course, I have not checked it out yet. It's a little chewed up. Um, I'm not familiar with this buck. Um, I'll have to do a little inventory on some pictures, but um, doesn't doesn't stand out to me right now. Doesn't really ring a bell. Um, Looks too familiar, but anyway, um, off to a pretty good start. But yeah, so so kind of what I always look for when shed hunting is uh, you know I know a lot of people focus on food, uh, but I focus on bedding areas. Um, you know, here it doesn't really get extremely cold where um you know the deer just absolutely have to go to food to survive like they do up north where they get you know feet of snow on the ground and deer have to travel to the food sources um to survive but uh you know i focus on bedding areas because in the season bucks are run down from the rut i've lost a lot of body weight they're trying to conserve energy and so they stay in their bed majority of the time just trying to reserve energy um you know because they're they're expending more energy to walk a mile or two miles or however long to get to a food source to eat versus staying in their bed and uh and just conserving energy here and just milling around on any grasses which you can see it's still we've still got green vegetation here because it just like I say our winters don't get insane but anyway uh off to a pretty good start so We'll uh, look around here, see if we can hopefully uh, find the other one. So stay tuned.